Hi, I'm Matthew from HDM Solar, and in this video, just wanted to have a quick view of uh, the differences between really a high voltage and a low voltage battery. Um, right here, we've currently got the EcoFlow system. This is currently set up in its 10 kilowatt storage form, and we've also got the Sunthink 5.32W series battery, which is a 48 volt battery. The EcoFlow system uses an 800 volt battery. And we'll go into a few of the differences and why some are better than others for certain circumstances. I will just strip this down so you can actually see like for like how much they are. So this here, as you can see, is physically about the same sort of capacity for the same sort of size. So as I say, this one was a 10 kilowatt hour battery, but I'll set it back up. You can see how easily these things really do just clip together. So the Sunsync operates as a 48 volt battery, which is good for all of their systems, all the way up to the 12 kilowatt three phase systems. But when you start adding more and more batteries together, you have to use them through a bus bar, which then can increase the ampage to almost up to a thousand amps. When wiring them together to the bus bar, you will then have to use thicker cables. You will then have to have separate points of isolation. And for a, ease of stacking these these do all come as rack mountable so that you can actually have them in a warehouse somewhere out the way when you want to go up to the big 60 70 kilowatt hours with the storage that they're capable of doing the eco flow on the other hand with it being 800 volts all the connectors are really small they use their own internal connector anyway so when you connect push them onto each other they just make the connection. All the comms are also connected together, so there's no interference with that, but you are quite limited with the maximum capacity of these. These will only do up to 45 kilowatt hours on a single phase system if you parallel three together with their maximum amount of batteries each, which is three batteries per stack. Whereas the Sunsync, you can uh, go up as far as you can have comfortable space for putting them. Essentially, the contents of these two are pretty much the same. You have a stack of cells, which are not too undissimilar to these, and you also have a BMS control board, which ensures that the cells charge and discharge at their optimum rate. This is also the reason as to why, when it gets really, really cold, they won't charge these things at all. Everybody will have their own personal preference, whether they prefer the more safety aspects of keeping things lower voltage, or like myself, they prefer the higher voltage but lower current option. Um, it's totally down to preference. Some households will benefit from having a higher voltage because it'll mean that you can change over and use more power quickly. The added benefits for when you are increasing your capacity to sort of well below on the 20 kilowatt hours with the storage mark is at least again on the high voltage side of things, that is a lot simpler to do. There's far less extra uh, ancillary is required. There's less thick cabling, there's less extra switches. As I say, you have smaller contacts in the relays that are switching things over. You are less, less inclined to have arcing inside uh, your appliances. As much as the relays and everything that are rated for it are capable, just personally, I feel that the higher voltage, lower current would put up to a lot more abuse. Using higher voltage would mean that you would incur smaller losses when you are going between the 800 volts DC to 230 volts AC or the 48 volt DC going to 230 AC. High voltage batteries charge and discharge faster and as such they also generate less heat when doing so which potentially can also increase the lifespan of the cells and the overall efficiency of the system. When converting between the DC and the AC, there's also a decrease in the losses during the conversion, making it much more efficient as a whole. However, the advantage with low voltage batteries, they are seen as safer and they're also more inexpensive. Both these options and many others are available on our website, which is hdmsolar.co.uk. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope this might have enlightened one or two of you. Thank you very much, bye bye.